some pawpaws just after the rain. It's Prima 1216. There's a bit of fruit drop. This is June drop down here. The tree sheds whatever fruits it can't hold. Um, and this is entirely dependent on how much rain, nutrition, sunlight the tree is getting at the time the fruits are beginning to form. So it's not necessarily representative of what the tree is capable of doing. It's more what the tree at the moment feels like it can do based on the immediate climate. There's a big, beautiful cluster on Maria's Joy. These fruits get very plump. Um, although I don't particularly care for the flavor of Maria's Joy, it is a wonderful size fruit. A beautiful cluster of Potomac. These are going to swell up to maybe just shy of a pound each, it looks like. And you can kind of guesstimate based on, on how fast they've expanded uh, in the past week or so. You see all the June drop underneath Allegheny. This guy bore a lot last year and is setting a shy crop this year, which is good in one, in one way in that the fruits that it does hold will be larger than usual. This particular cultivar is prone to overbearing, actually, so it's good that it's dropping a whole bunch of its uh, set fruits. This is Golden Moon. This cultivar has set a bunch of fruit this season, as you can see in the interior. Uh, there is some question about the uniqueness of this cultivar. Um, I have one grower, rather well-known and reputed, who says that it's the same cultivar as Naomi's Delicious, which means that I have four Naomi's Delicious trees if this is true. However, I don't have one that's currently bearing right now, so I don't know. Green River Bell. See some food set on the interior there. This Green River Bell has been on the property for about five years now. We got it in the summer of 2017, it arrived as a rootless stick and has taken five years to reach this size. 